Hello, and welcome to Flippin' Awesome. I'm Mindy XYZ, your factotum expert. With my videos, you'll be able to learn how to save time, money, the environment, and many, many other things to where you'll easily become an expert too, to where you'll certainly inspire others with your newfound capabilities and ideas. Today, I am in my living room and we are going to do a beginner's tutorial. Uh, so if, you, if you're familiar with tools um, and how to do a lot of different things around the house, uh, this video is probably not for you. But if you're definitely new uh, to messing around with tools and, and you've seen those really cool hairpin legs on uh, different furniture and you're like, man, I would really like to have that on my piece of furniture, you're in the right spot. Um, so, I'm going to, uh, I am going to show you uh, how to measure so that you get uh, the right measurement uh, for the length of legs that you want. Now, hairpin legs, you can generally find them anywhere between 4 inches and 40 inches. You know, so depending on the height of uh, what your project is, uh, you can go ahead and order those uh, on Amazon or you can find them elsewhere on the internet. And I believe uh, your local uh, stores may carry them too, like Lowe's and Home Depot. Uh, that I do not know for sure. I haven't looked for them there. Uh, I usually order them. So today, uh, I'm going. Uh, a friend of mine sent me this a couple years ago, and oh, it is really heavy. But it's just a uh, a piece of granite that he in. Uh, framed out with cedar and you put these really cool little corner pieces on and I used to have it on a sofa uh, uh, in my home up in Michigan and but now that I'm in my new home there's really nowhere to put it so I'm like you know I am going going to make a little side table uh, for the side of the my little couch here and I'm going to use hairpin legs because they're all the rage so I'm like, you know, and I'll do a really simple tutorial to help you beginners out. So let's go ahead and get started. And we'll start with the measurements so you know how to measure uh, for your uh, whatever it is that you're going to end up using. All right, here we go. Okay, in order to get the right measurements, uh, you want to obviously have a some type, some type of measuring tool. A tape measure really helps. And what you can do is you can put your measure, your tape measure to the floor and measure where you want the top of um, your item. Like, and I'm kind of referring to tables, really, at this point. And um, so anyways, the top of my chair here is basically 24 inches, two feet, now, I do not want the top of my table level with this. I actually want it a little bit lower. So I want the top of my table to be about 22 inches is where I want it. So, but 22 inches, that is not the size legs we are gonna order, okay? And I'll explain that in a second here. The reason why we are not going to use 22 inch legs is because I have approximately four inches of table space here. So say for example, I want the top of my table to be 22 inches and I did order 22 inch legs. When I go to put the legs on top of on top of this, and here's my hairpin leg right here, I'm gonna be attaching it like this, okay? So that means I'll have a 22 inch leg plus this four inches right here. So that would be 26 inch height, and I don't want that. So, I had a measurement of 22 inches. That's the top of where I want it. So 22 minus 
four, four inches here. I don't know if you can see that there. It's four inches will be 18 inches. So I want my legs to be 18 inches. And that's what I ordered. I have 18 inch legs here. So that's how you kind of get your measurement. You know, it's you want to find out the height of uh, your table that you where you want it. And then you want to subtract the thickness of the table that you're going to be using. You know, uh, most tables may only be like an inch or two, you know, so then you'll just subtract an inch or two. This happens to be four. So, okay. So now we know how to get a measurement uh, for a, a side table. That'll be awesome. So let's go ahead and let me show you how to attach your legs to your table. Okay, once we get our uh, okay, and hairpin then legs do that on in, all four corners. Through the mail or but we can use the same leg up at the store or wherever we got the them. Same. We want to go ahead and put it on the base of our table. For the, now this is the bottom side of my table. The Decide where we want them. And then with the holes where the screws go, we are just going to get a black marker and mark a spot. Because what we're going to do is we're going to pre-drill some holes so that we make sure that we don't split our wood. And I'll show you what I mean here. You can see the little dots. Okay, all these uh, spots is where I made a mark. And that's where the four, four legs will go. And that's where the screws will go. Okay, so now that we have that marked, uh, you probably want to make sure that you have uh, your table. Uh, if, if you're working on, see, I, I'm working on my desk here. So I really don't want to make the mistake of possibly drilling through and having the drill go all the way through and then hit my table. You know, so I put some blocks of wood underneath. Now this is a four inch table, so I have nothing to worry about there, but I'm just mentioning this in case you have a, a smaller, like an inch or two inch table. You know, so yeah, I can uh, elevate it if, uh, if you're working on a nice surface. To pre-drill, again, the reason for that is so that you don't split the wood um, what you want to do is the, the legs that I received came with screws, which is really nice. So what you want to do is get a drill bit that's about half the thickness of this screw. Uh, what I like to use is there's a, there's a key for drill bits that you can uh, pick up. And the, and how to use it is I will shove this screw through each hole until I find one. See, it's like that one's gonna be too tight. There we go. So this one here, this particular hole right here is the, the size of my screw. So now for the drill bit, uh, when it comes to wood, you wanna make sure that you use a drill bit that's approximately two to three holes smaller than what the uh, the screw is. So in my, my drill bit here, I want three screws, or three holes smaller. So this is the drill bit that I'm gonna use. Now if you don't have a key, it's not a big deal. You can try to eyeball it. So you kinda look at your screw, look at your drill bit, you kinda look at them on the top there you know, and, and it's like okay well this is about half the size or two-thirds the size of your screw 
So you can do it that way also. All right, so let's go ahead and pre-drill, and I'll give you a couple tips on that also. Um, I got my drill bit into my um, drill. Now with the screws, what I did is, uh, you might notice I have some tape on here. Now this isn't necessary if you're going through some really like thick wood, like I have, I'll be drilling into four inches here, so it's not a big deal for me. Um, but where this uh, tape comes in handy, is with the screw that I'm using, what I did is I marked a spot on the drill bit and then I threw tape around that spot so that I know this is as deep as I need to go. You know, so if you're drilling through like, I don't know, inch and a half, two inch piece of wood and you're worried that you might go too far the nice thing about this is you just drill until you, you know till the wood hits your your tape. So you're drilling and you stop at the at the tape. So that's it's just a little trick. And I've used it I use it quite often on different projects. Just so that I don't drill through. Alright, uh, so now that we have our um, spots marked off, our drill ready. Let's go ahead and pre-drill. Now pre-drilling, you just drill. Drill the holes and stay as perpendicular as you can with the wood. Okay. Next, you want to switch out your drill bit for a Phillips head bit so you can screw your screws in. And I'm just going to put a leg up, put a leg up, grab my screw and you can actually start it a little bit by hand just to, so it doesn't move on you. Now, when you go to screw these in, uh, you want to make sure you don't strip the wood. So as soon as it's snug, you are good. Don't try to keep tightening it. There we go. Oh, see, see that's stripped. So. So what I'm going to do, a little trick, is grab some toothpicks shove them in your hole, Let's give that a shot. There we go. That will work. Okay. Then you just do that with the rest of the legs. Okay, I have all four legs on and they are on really good. I'm surprised how sturdy they are. Now, the, my legs, they also gave me these little rubber pieces. And I can just, you just snap those onto the uh, foot of your hairpin legs. And 
and that'll help help your uh, table from sliding and uh, slipping and sliding everywhere if it happens to be on a linoleum or tile or wood type floor. So there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, hello there. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and vacuum uh, this out before I move it. Uh, I got all the sawdust in here from the pre-drill and then I'll show you what it looks like. Well, thanks for watching Flippin' Awesome. Again, I'm Mindy XYZ, your factotum expert. If you liked today's video and you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and uh, a like, that'll be awesome. And uh, definitely share if you know someone who could use this video and subscribe. You know, so it'd be greatly appreciated again. And you guys have a phenomenal, Awesome day.